Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and I am back at it slowly. I have not had any motivation lately. It's been hard for me to even get on the camera. Plus, I'm having some problems with my TMJ. So, I think what's happening is I'm gritting my teeth at night. And so, it's caused my TMJ to act up. So, if I sound a little bit funny talking, that's why I... I can't open my mouth real wide without it sending a sharp pain all the way through the top of my head. So, I am dealing with that and everything else that's going on. And then, you know, like I said, I just haven't had my mojo. And I hadn't been able to talk a lot without it just being excruciating pain. So, I have just kind of laid around, put my med took my medicine, put my medicine on, put my rub on, that kind of thing, and did what I could do. That's the only thing I, I know to do these days, is do what I can and leave everything else off. So what we're going to do today is just some playing, probably, and if I have to stop the video out every so often and put my rub back on, then you'll know, <laughs> you'll know why. If it gets to hurting really bad, I'll, I'll stop and do a little rub, and then I'll, I'll come back. But I thought we would do, Melina had done a MS Scrap Busters to use up some scraps, and she did clustered belly bands. Now, I don't have any little notebooks made to, to use for clustered belly bands, so I thought what I would do, I need tags. So I thought I would do some clustered tags belly bands. Let's see how that works. <laughs> Don't even know if that is a thing or not, but we'll see. And I have just pulled out some scraps out of my stash. Nothing, nothing exact, just a bunch of scraps. Because I need all sorts of tags and things like that. So we'll just start somewhere. Uh, this is a scrap of Hello Susan, and I thought that would make a very pretty tag. So I think I'm going to cut that down a little bit. Yeah, I have I've struggled the last four or five days. I know it's been about that long since I've been on here. I have struggled with thoughts and memories and everything else that's going on. And then, then this hit me. So I'm like, ah, not, not one more thing. I think I'll just go ahead and cut a few tags. And we'll kind of go from there. Now that would be pretty. Even though that writing is turned sideways, I don't mind. I'm just going to leave it. And I'm going to make these about six. I'm just going to cut that right six inches. And I'll put these to the side. That would make a beautiful big tag. Now we could just make a big one. So I'll show you how we're going to kind of cluster them in a minute. Let me get some cut. Let's see. Let's see if we can cut that one down a little bit. So it's not quite so wide. This is another Hello Susan paper. Let's see. Yeah, we can get it at three and a half. Most of my tags are like three and a half. So, but you can make them any size that you want. It doesn't have to be. See, I'll use that one as a little tag. That's pretty. All right, let's get some of this other paper. Here's some pretty paper. Just cut a piece of this down. So, what have you guys been up to? Oh, it's getting closer and closer to Christmas, isn't it? Aaron is just beside himself with excitement. Um, every day he has a countdown day. So many more days for Christmas. So when he came over here to work today, he said, Nana, guess what? 12 days till Christmas. <laughs> so that boy gets excited when it comes Christmas time. He's like his papa. He loves Christmas. Aaron loves Christmas. All right, so I'm just rumbling through here to see what else I can find to make another tag or two out of. I am completely, I think I've got like two tags in my stash. 
See, those will make small tags real pretty. These are going to be belly bands, so I'm going to put those to the side. And then I have this paper here. It's very pretty. Let's go ahead and cut some of it down. And I'm just going to cut it at three and a half. If you know you need tags wider than that, then you can go ahead and make them whatever width you want. That's going to be plenty wide enough for me. And I think I'll just leave these the height that they are. I always use them in pockets somewhere. Or to clip on. Yeah, we'll just cut that one down and I'll leave that for another little scrap. All right, that's enough to start with right there. I think we'll, we'll stay pretty busy. Now this is just the backing from an ephemera pack. And I like to use these to make tags on because they're nice and thick. So any now this is thick enough without putting anything behind it. But this is this is just regular copy paper printed, you know, for my digital print. So I'm going to back that with this just to make it a little stronger. And then it's white on the back, so it's good to write on. Okay. Go ahead and I'm just going to use my art glitter glue on this. So I may not do a ton of talking through this one because the more I talk, the more it hurts. <laughs> so I'll try to do as much talking as possible, but it may not be a ton. I don't know if any of you have got TMJ, you know what I'm talking about. It is one of the most painful, or mine is anyway most painful situations you can have going on in your mouth. And mine just flares up once ever so often. It's not like it's there all the time. It'll just have a flare up. And I don't know if it's something I've done, something I've ate, something I've bit into. I don't know what causes it, but anyway. Now, we're going to do a little bit of a, just like a belly band collage on here. It'll be attached but I think it'll still look cute. And I think I'm going to use that piece right there. This is from Hello Susan. I think it's out of the same paper collection. I'll, um, I'll link her store below. It's an Etsy store. No, it's not. It's a pay hip store. <laughs> it used to be Etsy. I still say Etsy because I forget about pay hip. Let's see, I'm going to take just a little bit of that off so, so I can kind of get rid of a little of that butterfly. So it doesn't look like I've got just a little piece of butterfly dangling there. Yeah, we're going to put it right there, I think. And then I'll trim off this a little bit. <clears throat> but now I'm going to ink on mine. And you don't have to do that. Of course you don't. Told you that before. These can also be cut in a lot of different ways, too. You don't have to cut them all the same way. Oops, I'm going to go ahead and cut this into a tag shape first. Like you can use your little deck ledge scissors to cut these. Scissors. See how my mouth don't work? <laughs> that's a that's a kind of a funny scissors. And before any of you post with everything, I know there's different surgeries they can do for this, but I'm trying my best to avoid as much surgery as possible. Antibiotics and things to kind of take it down a notch or two and take my pain meds and kind of go from there. And like I said, it doesn't flare up that often. It's just once in a blue moon. And I think it's because... I do grind or grit my teeth at night. And I know there's things they can do with that too. You can wear mouth guards and all that. And I've got one and I've worn it. And I still, I wake up with a mouth guard thrown across the room and it's still going on. So I think lately it's just the tension of everything building up. So let's see. Now we're going to build our little cluster, I think, over here. Because we've got all these flowers going on over here. 
so what we'll do is let's see I'm looking give me a minute let me look just trying to find something to go down first oh I think we'll use a piece of this it's not a book page So I guess the old saying is, when it rains it pours, doesn't it? When thing happens, seems like something else comes along. Alright. You know, one of the best things that I have found for the TMJ is um, peppermint oil. Essential oil, peppermint oil. It's really good to rub on the outside of your jaw. Or it is for me. It works for me. may not work for everybody. It'll work until it starts wearing off, and then, of course, you have to kind of go back and do it again. But it helps a lot when the pain hits you. Let's see. This is just a little scrap piece of uh, vellum. <clears throat> I think I'll put that right there. Let's see. This is the right side. And I'm just going to use this because the art glitter glue because I'm going to put something else on top of that anyway. Now, what? Um, again, like I said, I'm just grabbing for scraps. I'd like to have a stamp on there of some kind. I can find one that kind of, sort of went. Alright, I'm going to grab my doilies. I think I've got some little odd cut pieces in here that we can use. Ooh, that one might go really well. Or maybe that one. Alright, let's get a piece of doily. Now these were sent to me by, and I should have put that down first before I put all this down, but it's too late now. <clears throat> these were sent to me by Katie. Alright, I'm going to lay that there first before I glue it. And I'm going to get a piece of scrap trim. I think I'll put that down first. Alright. Then we need a little focal point. And your focal point can be lots of different things. It can be either a, a butterfly or um, a special little label. Going to be lots of different things. So let me see what I've got. Okay, I think I might use that little stem and then put another little flower down here, I think. Grabbed out a few little flowers. We'll see what we got that might go. There's a pretty little piece of material. This is just my little flower bucket. Oh yeah, we could put that there. It's got blue in it, so we can do that. And then, let's see. Let's see what, the, which way I want to layer this. I think I want to put that doily to the side like that. Since I had to cut it. So I'll glue this down. And then put that little doily there. Then we'll put this little branch over. And I, this was sent to me by someone, and I can't remember exactly who. I, I'm sorry. I got it last year. I tell you, there has been ambulances and fire trucks and everything going by yesterday and today okay and then we'll put this little flower right there and now I think I'll put a couple of little labels on here so let's see grab my little label 
journal and I did make this and I have all of my journals linked in my playlist so let's go for this it says create And I want just small words. I don't want anything real big. Let's see how this is going to look, though. We may have to change the color. Yep, yeah, I want the I want different colors. So we're going to go to our Tim Holtz labels. Let's see if we can find something in here. And these are the label booklets that we have sold in the shop. I don't know if we have any more right now, but we have sold them. Let's see about dreams. I'm actually going to cut that down a little bit more. Yeah, I like that there now. So there's one little cluster. And you can do multiple labels on there if you want to. You don't have to do just one. We'll put a number label on too. There we go. So there is our little belly band cluster on a tag. I like that. And then you can punch your hole and put seam binding in it. We may do that if we have time. Okay, I have this piece of Tim Holtz paper. And I am going to have to back it. This one was actually folded. That's the reason I had to back it. But I wanted to use it. And then, let's see. Ooh, I hate to lose that number. I may just round the corners on this one. I may have to do some silent movies with you guys. <laughs> I want to do the videos, but oh, the talking is killing me. And I'm going to cover the back with this old piece of book page. And I will probably stitch around this later. The book page is very brittle. And then I like to go ahead and ink back here. And I may put a tab on this instead of um, instead of punching a hole in it. That'll work. And I'm going to go ahead and put a one on top of this, too. Okay, now we're ready to do a little cluster on this one. So I'm going to start off on this one with a doily. I think I'll put that one <clears throat> on there. I'm just going to leave a little bit off, and then I'll trim that. First, we need to put down our little band. I'm just going to use a piece of this for the band. I 
It's an Edith Holden book page and it has that pretty writing on it. Oh, I forgot to ink there. Hmm. There we go. Now we can build our cluster here. Use a little piece of this music page. like that. Then I need another piece of lace. Hmm. Wrong way. That way. I don't think we might go with that on there. Okay, I'm going to glue this down and then we'll find some labels. Okay, I think I'll put that one right there. Cover up that stem. Right then, I think I'll do that little label right there. So there's our little cluster. Let's do one on here. So I'm going to back it with another piece of that old book page. around it. Then we're ready to do our little belly band. I think I'll use a piece of this. I got this from one of you. I don't know who. And um, I think I'm going to put, put a piece of that across. I'm going to use this little dolly on here. I'll use a piece of this lace. 
Okay, I'm going to lay it out and then I'll decide exactly how I want to do it. This one, I'm going to see if I've got a stamp that will work. And, let's see. Oh, too big. You know, we could cut that down, though. Let's do that. Okay. I think I've got it in my head how I want it. our stamp then we're going to put that a little positive right up through there I don't know why I said positive but anyway positive I want to turn it a little bit. There we go. And then I need a little something right here. Oh, I like that right there. It's just a piece of a flower. Not even a whole one. I just saved it back. And it has some of those same colors in it. And that's a pretty thick paper, so I'm going to take it just a second to catch. There you go. And I didn't like how that positive was shooting up through there, so I just turned it a little bit. And there we go. There's that one. And you can do more embellishing if you want to. Alright, this is a little uh, pocket that someone sent me. And I'm going to do a tag in it and then I'll do the belly band on the outside.
I think this little piece of material I'll clip it right here use my tiny attacher there we go and there is that little envelope and tag All right, guys, that is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.